In 2017, I bought an Acura Integra. About a year later, the motor decided to go bye-bye. You get a blown motor! You get a blown motor! Our blown motor's so fun! So then I connected with Hybrid Racing to do a K20A swap from the Integra Type R from Japan. We planned for months to make sure we had everything ready to go, and then I brought the car down to Hybrid Racing's headquarters in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. The first day we pulled the B-Series out, the second day we did maintenance to the K20A to make sure everything was buttoned up. The third day we did continued maintenance, but then we put the motor inside the car. After wiring everything up and making sure all our hoses were ready, we bump started it and it fired right up. Good news, right? Then the next day was the rest of the tedious stuff. We went down the list and made sure everything was ready to go. Once we did the satisfying motion of crossing off each part, we then went for a small little test drive. The test drive was very successful and we learned a lot. We learned that we just needed to button up some of our cooling. Once we figured the cooling out, we just made sure to get all the air outside of the motor. After a successful drive and a classy dinner at Taco Bell, the very next morning we got to work on getting rid of that nasty raspiness from the open header. We decided to go with a Tanabi medallion exhaust, but since it's made for a B series, we needed to make our own custom exhaust. We went with a vibrant high flow cat, along with modifying the rest of the piping. After the exhaust was all buttoned up, we decided to take it for a test drive, and David from Hybrid Racing brought out his beautiful EK9 Type R, which coincidentally also has a K-Swap. So we went for an intense test drive in the insane Louisiana heat and in Baton Rouge traffic to make sure the Integra could handle it. Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? We have finally, finally, started to drive the Integra again. Four days of day and night hard work by Hybrid Racing. Unbelievable. I am just grinning ear to ear right now. Right now, this is a test drive, so we're essentially doing our R&D by driving it around, putting some miles on it, seeing if there's any leaks, seeing if it's gonna overheat, anything along that nature. Last night, it was getting a little hot, but that was just because there was some air still in the motor, and that's totally normal when you do an engine swap but eventually we figured out a lot of the kinks. So we gotta consistently run into about 190 degrees, which is operating temperature. The operating temperature officially by Honda is 187 Fahrenheit, so we're in the right ballpark. Now that I'm actually driving the car with the new interior swap I did with the suede and everything, ah, it was such the right decision. I don't miss that brown at all. At the same time though, it feels like a brand new car because we have a brand new K20A with the LSD transmission that comes with it. So this thing freaking rips, dude. Hybrid Racing manufactures all the stuff you need to do a K-Swap and they were kind enough to invite me all the way out to Louisiana and bring my car all the way out here. I actually had to use a U-Haul box truck because you're not able to one way a U-Haul normal truck. So uh, that was interesting. Yes, I know I need to get a truck and trailer. Somehow I've survived in the car scene this long without a truck and trailer. At first, it feels like a bragging right that you drove your car to the track and back. Then it just becomes too stressful because if something happens, you're kind of done. I do plan on driving this car all the way back to Georgia, so no pressure. <laughs> In front of me is the mastermind David from Hybrid Racing and his EK9 Type R. It looks so freaking clean, and it's so interesting because both cars are made by the same manufacturer, but they feel completely different in a lot of ways. The Integra is a car you don't see swapped as often, in my opinion, not to a K-Series. To me, you see the K-Series and all the hatches because it seems kind of like the no-brainer because it's the lightest one. But I wanted to do something different, and originally with this car, I wanted to use the original B-Series, but it let me down, and that was it. And nowadays, like people are saying, K is the way, man. If you're gonna do an engine swap, with a Honda, K's the way. Save your money, do a K. I was wrong, I should have done this from the beginning, honestly. We replaced the clutch, we replaced the gear selector springs. We have this amazing hybrid racing shifter they provided. Oh, that's a Cummins, boy. It feels like a gated shifter. <laughs> I'm still not used to how high the red line is. It's absolutely messing with my mind. 
This K28 was only made in Japan and it revs to 8600 RPM redline. My gauge doesn't even go that high, it only goes to eight, so I'm kind of guessing. It's doing the thing where the needle goes past it and it's like, that ain't right. Also, on my very first test drive of it last night, we didn't have the exhaust done because we had to make a custom exhaust for this car. Now we started, with the Tanabe medallion exhaust that's made in Japan. That's essentially for the B series. Therefore, we needed to therefore we needed to make it work. So he modified the Tanabe exhaust, but the night before, we are too antsy to just drive the car. So we drove an open header to Taco Bell <laughs> and made it happen. But I will say an open header K series or a straight pipe K series it does not sound good. This is definitely, definitely faster than an S2K. It blows my mind the difference it is with this K-Series compared to the B18 LS that was in this car. We also have AC and we have power steering which was provided by Hybrid Racing which is freaking dope. But we had to get the AC charged today. So we're just waiting to go to the dealership in order to get it all charged up before our long trip. So that has to happen, especially in this new black interior. Fan just kicked on, that's good news. Side note, y'all's lights in Baton Rouge are way too long. I've been sitting here forever. But on the other hand, it's a really good test for the car and it's Kool-Aid, so let's hope for the best. I also don't have my Saibon front lip on the car right now because of transportation. It was up on that U-Haul trailer, so it was basically scraping all over it, and that's not what you want with a carbon lip. I'm still on the fence if I'm gonna put on the lip or not for the drive home, because if I hit something on the highway or something, I'll be heartbroken, but I think I'm gonna leave it on. <laughs> now that we've done a little bit of driving, we're gonna go get this AC filled so I'm not dying in here. Jason, the man with the plan. What is this plan you speak of? The car not going to a ditch. While the Integra was getting buttoned up on the alignment rack, David threw me the keys to his brand new Type R, which has the absolutely insane hybrid racing shifter. You can chirp gear so quick, it's not even fair. It takes away all the sloppiness of the factory Type R shifter, which makes it very rewarding to drive. You go into beast mode where you're banging gears really quickly, or it's very easy to drive normal. <laughs> In other words, it basically takes a great car, the Civic Type R, and then makes it even greater. It's really interesting driving the brand new Type R compared to my quote unquote old Integra Type R thing, K20A swapped Integra, I don't even know anymore. In other words, it's a really fun old school feeling car compared to a brand new car. They're just two cars with two different ways of doing things. Okay, David, full week at hybrid racing. Full week. Full entire week, did the K-Swap technically in four days. Four days. But properly with power steering, AC, everything else. Then the next two days was just button things yep. up, r and d essentially around yeah, town, making sure everything's it. good. Because yep. we're driving this thing back, so it's gotta be perfect. Other than that, Hybrid Racing, check them out. They're absolutely incredible. They do everything in house. It's so rad, but thank you so much. These are the freaking, I can't even talk. It's that, it's that fun of a car. Also, Cody over here hiding. I don't care if you don't want to be on camera or not. This man is awesome. We solved the entire exhaust issue, these yep. two, because we had to fill in a gap with the exhaust. Yep. That's all solved. But Hyper Racing, check out their website. If you want to case swap your car, it's the best website to go to. They have everything you absolutely ever need. Good job, guys. Enjoy. Sweet.
Thank you guys so much for being so supportive and so patient while I worked on this Integra for months. I appreciate each and every one of you, and now it's time to drive back to Atlanta. Once I successfully get back to Atlanta, I'll be sure to have a full video review of the Integra after living with it for a while. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and I will see you guys next time. Take it easy. Go. Oh, my God.